morning children we are back with our next topic in geography that is work of seaways this is chapter number 4 major land forms and this is my video number 3 till now we have discussed about work of a river and i'm sure that you all have understood that isn't it okay so today i'll be explaining you the work of sea waves what land forms does the sea waves make now when we talk about the work of sea waves it is also known as marine erosion and marine deposition and the land forms that sea waves make those are called coastal land forms okay so shall we start what all land forms this these sea waves make please look at this uh, flow chart properly okay i'll explain you with this first we'll be studying about sea cape this is the first land form which the sea waves make see what happens the sea wave when it continuously strikes at the rock the rocks it the uh, what we say cavities develop there is a crack which develop on that rock those cavities those are known as sea caves see for example this is a rock okay now when this wave will be striking on this rock let's say this much portion will get there would be a crack which will get develop here okay this is called sea cave understood this is a rock the wave strike are striking at this rock they develop a crack here this formed a sea cave now next we move to sea arm what happens now sea waves are continuously striking at this rock right which what with the result of that these cavities it will become bigger and what will happen only the roof will be remaining which will form sea arm again i'll show you with this diagram see now what happens let's see with this diagram only okay now i was telling you that in the case of sea wave when the sea waves were continuously striking at this rock they develop a crack which formed sea cave now wave what is the role of wave they would be continuously this is a never ending process right so they would be continuously striking at this rock which will result in making this cavity little bigger so it will become like a uh, where you can go you can see in and to and fro okay it will develop a big cavity big gap here this is known as c r clear now what will happen in the case of stack again the working of the c waves the striking of the c waves that is regular it is not going to stop so when those sea waves are striking at this even this roof will be broken okay this roof will get broken up so what remains these two pillar like structures these are known as stacks understood how nicely i have explained you with this diagram i'm telling you once again and then we will be discussing the other land forms which sea waves make first i was telling you about sea cave i hope you understood this diagram first i was telling you about sea cave in the sea cave i told you when the sea waves they are striking at the rocks what happens they develop a crack those crack result into some cavities okay that cavities that broken rock that is known as sea cave now with the continuous uh, what we say continuous striking of that rock these cavities it will become wider what will happen even this um, gap will become more and more bigger which will form cr then further erosion it will result in the emptiness it will uh, what we say it will even uh, break this rock so break this roof of the rock okay the continuous erosion it will break the roof of the rock what will happen only these walls will be left these walls they are known as stacks clear so shall we do the other land forms then okay now we'll be discussing what other land form 
forms does this base create? Now the let's, next landform that is being made is C cliff. C cliff is that vertical wall which is facing towards the sea. That is called a C cliff. Another landform beaches. You all have uh, either gone to beaches or you have seen the beaches in movies, right? So what are beaches? How are they made? They are made up from the broken rock materials. They are made up from that eroded material on the shore. And which is generally formed when the sea is calm. So those eroded materials, those broken rock materials, they form a beach. Next comes sandbars. Sandbars are also made from broken rock material which are deposited on the sea floor. Okay. Beaches, these are made on from the eroded materials on the shore as well as sandbars, they are made from broken rock materials which are deposited on the sea floor. Next one is lagoon. Lagoon is a small water body which gets separated from a larger water body. See what happens in a sea when sea waves are continuously striking. It happens sometimes the water or maybe at the time of flood. Usually we have seen this at the time of flood that water, the flow of water, it also comes on the banks. It also comes it's to nearby areas from the sea. So what happens? The water which has come out due to some landform which are made in between, that water cannot go back. For example, um, let's see, uh, this is a sea, okay? Now due to flood, this water, it came back, it came till here, okay? Now when this water came, it also brought along with itself some loose particles, some stones, some soil, some sediments, right? So with that, maybe one, those loose particles got deposited here. The water flew and the loose particles got deposited here. So this water now, it cannot go back. This acts as a barrier. So there will be a small lake which will get formed here. This is an example of lagoon. Okay. Like Chilka Lake in Bhubaneswar. It is a perfect example of a lagoon. Which is formed from that sea only. Clear? Understood sea cliff, beaches, sandbars and lagoon. So what are landforms we studied in this chapter? We studied about. Sea caves, right? We studied about sea arc, isn't it? We studied about stacks. We studied about sea cliff. We studied about beaches. Then we studied about sandbars and at last we studied about lagoon. So these all are the different different landforms that are created by the sea waves. I hope you all have understood this. Sea caves, I told you when the sea waves strike on that rock, it develop a cavity. It develop a Crack, which is called sea cave. Sea are when the sea waves are continuously striking on that rock, the cavities become bigger, which forms a sea R. Stack again, the further erosion it will also erode the roof. Okay, only the pillars will be left. So that pillars, those pillars, they are known as stacks. Then sea cliff, it is the vertical wall, a steep wall, okay, which is facing towards the sea. Beaches, I told you, they are made up of broken rock materials on the shore. 
Then sandbars, they are made up of broken rock materials which are deposited on the sea floor. Then lagoon, it is the small water body which is being separated from a larger water body. Understood? So we have done work of sea waves. Now I will be giving you a short assignment that you have to do it in your notebook. Just write down the assignment here. So write down this assignment number 3 in your notebook. Write down question number 1. Name the landforms that are being created by the work of sea waves. Explain any two. So you have to write all the landforms and you need to explain any two. Okay. Question number two, how are stacks formed? Okay, stacks is also one of the landform. How is it formed? You need to explain that procedure. Question number three, give two examples, each of beaches and lagoon. You'll write, you'll write beaches at the top, you'll write lagoon at the top, you'll write two examples of both these landforms. Clear? Understood all these two questions? You'll be able to do it in your copy? Okay. Now we will be discussing the next landform in my next video. Till then, do this assignment. Go through the video once again. Bye-bye.